Arthritis of the hip joint refers to inflammation in the ball and socket joint. The most common reason to pursue a joint replacement or a joint arthroplasty of the hip is osteoarthritis, which is a wear and tear arthritis, where we see the cartilage that normally covers the ball or the socket, which is the acetabulum, becomes worn out, leaving areas of bone exposed, which cause tremendous pain and stiffness for the patient. This model of the hip joint demonstrates the bones of the pelvis and the femur with material that, that is the uh, abductors of the hip as well as the anterior and posterior hip capsule. When we do surgery on the hip joint, the two most common surgical approaches involve placing the patient on their side. The gluteus medius, the main abductor, is exposed here in the red. And we can reflect that muscle posteriorly to see the capsule, incise the capsule, and then bring the hip out anteriorly in order to do the operation. The other common surgical approach involves pushing the gluteus medius abductor muscle anteriorly, incising the capsule posteriorly. It is called the posterior approach. So in order to adequately treat advanced destructive arthritis of the hip, we have to replace or resurface the femoral head portion or the ball of the joint, as well as the acetabulum or the socket of the joint. First, we'll talk about the femur. The standard total hip replacement technique involves removing the femoral head and neck. So once we remove that, the femur looks much more like a tube. And the surgeon is able to see the intramedullary canal or the tube of the femur. It's into that tube that an implant must be placed with a new ball attached. The standard options for the femur involve either a press fit or cementless, non-cemented implant, which is usually a titanium stem, the size and dimensions of which are matched to the patient's bony anatomy. That can be placed tightly in the canal, and over a period of six to eight weeks, the boning growth occurs, which locks that implant solid for decades to come. On top of that implant, a number of different ball sizes and neck sizes can be placed to reproduce the normal anatomy of the patient. The reconstruction will be solid and can be associated with full weight bearing and good resumption of leisure activities. When it comes to dealing with the arthritis on the acetabulum or the socket of the joint, there are several options also available. The standard technique involves reaming or freshening up the bone into a hemisphere and then placing a titanium acetabular implant press fit into the patient's bone. The bone will grow into that implant and form a bond that should last for decades to come. Into that titanium shell, a number of options are available to the surgeon, usually polyethylene, which is a type of plastic material is placed that has a very good long-term track record. A total hip replacement with a metal on polyethylene articulation. This is currently considered the gold standard around the world. The majority of first-time hip arthroplasty procedures will take 60 to 90 minutes of operating time in order to successfully complete. Following the procedure, your surgeon will anatomically repair your deep capsule and the ligaments and reposition the muscle and tension it accordingly so that you can have good normal recovery. It's very, very important that you comply with the recommendations of your surgeon and your therapists and your nursing staff to not exceed the range of motion restrictions that are placed upon you in the first few months, otherwise you may disrupt the deep tissue repair that has been successfully completed.